<clears throat> and welcome back to Let's Play Around the World in 80 Days. This is a filler RP. I mean a filler RP. And a filler LP. And because this this is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And this game has been a recommendation of a very good friend of mine and a subscriber as well. School Filmer. If you don't know, I'll have it up on the video or on on the um the look description box below. So here, of course, you know this is a puzzle game. So therefore, in this puzzle game, well, you'll see. Certainly, Mr. Fogg. That's good. That is. And I, who wanted to remain quiet, oh, I do not feel right about this journey, but it is time to prepare the coffee bag and... Where's Mr. Fogg's notebook? Alright, so in this game... No, don't show hints. Yes, it is matching. And what we want to do in in this sort of thing is we want to basically get all parts of said items that are needed as told in story and the more we actually and the more build-ups we get from matching the more points we earn and the more points we earn the more you can actually the more you can actually build up under a certain notice Now what we're doing here is we're trying to get the notebook. And how do you get the notebook? Well, you basically guide it down to the bottom of every stage. Every piece of the puzzle will form that certain increment that you need to complete the stage. What we have is the notebook. Now like I said, this game was a, um, a recommendation by a school filmer, so it was okay for me to do this because I asked him, and, you know, of course. We have obtained a notebook. This is the day I hired a new servant, a Frenchman by the name of Passepartout. The news of the journey around the world came as a shock to him. Yet he started back without a word. This this is the manner a servant should be. It appears that this it that this time I may have found the right man. I'm not saying nothing, folks. If I do, you'll know. We are not taking much luggage. A proper gentleman travels around the world with a light carpet bag. Or if you're you, you carry a knapsack. Am I right? <laughs> well, let's get going. For this whole run, as you will see, I will do it. I will do this game area by area. That means I will do. England and, and onward until I get to U the US. So, as I try to mention, yes. This game can be fairly fast or fairly slow. Now this over here on my on my right no my left, my lower left is my power up. And of course the more you match it only builds up when you have at least four or more matches. And so far we only have the hammer. And we've completed another level. And of course the more time you have accumulated during a level, the more you can actually build up 
by getting more and more bonuses. And we have unlocked our savings account. Because really, you can't go around the world without money. The most important thing that Passport told packed is my personal notebook. These notes will become documented evidence of my journey. Perhaps one day, many years from now, I will read them to my children. And they will say, Daddy, you're a douche. Okay, next thing we want to get is the pocket watch. So about the power-ups, yes, there are, I believe, four. The first one I am building up is the hammer. The second is Tesla's hammer. The third is the bomb, and the fourth and final is the is the fireball. Now, of course, to me, a game like this, see what I have now is the Tesla's hammer. Well, no, actually, I powered up the hammer. But when it becomes powered up again, it becomes Tesla's hammer. So what I'm trying to do now is basically trying to build upon the level so I can get the Tesla's hammer. So as you can see, yes, this is why I play him. This is why I play when I'm not doing any LPs. So I'm sharing the goodness of this very game to you, the people of UB2B. And yes, this is a free game. Didn't have to buy it. Oh, he downloaded. So if you are a fan of good puzzle games, or something that can really just take your mind off things when you feel upset or whatnot, when you really need to really chew the fat, you got my number. No, actually, <laughs> no, actually, no. So as I said before, these are one of the main games that I tend to actually play when I'm not really doing anything. And what have I gained? I put together the pocket watch. Uh, oh, this is not the pocket watch, it's the compass. My mistake, this is the compass because, well, if you're going to travel, might as well take compass with you just to know where the hell you're going. So we get the, so we get the um, compass. I had an argument with Mr. Stewart, chairman of the Reform Club, about whether it is possible to travel around the world in eight days. He got so agitated trying to prove me wrong that he bet his post of, of the chairman. So what we have right now is we have. The money is and the compass. So we are going after this air we're going after our next item. This of course our next one is a globe.
Yeah, believe it or not. There are many games I'm a I'm a I'm an avid fan of. If it's not RPGs, then it is puzzle games. Now the money bag is basically just points. Just extra points. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to get more parts of this. Yeah. I'm that damn good. And I know it. So, of course, this game is really nothing to talk about. I mean, I like it. I really do like it. Actually, I started playing this game for quite some time now. And of all the games that I've ever played, I think I played this the most. Because it is always important to keep your mind sharp as well as your body. So as another level is complete and another day is done, we have in our possession our next item which is the globe because a good traveler needs to know where the hell he's going while he's doing it so we have the globe quite honestly it seems like Mr. Stewart is not the one not the only one who thinks I'm doomed to failure well Gentlemen, you will soon see who is right. All right, so not much is going on in the outside world of Izzy. I'm taking a break from doing my mainstream LPs, but I'm still doing videos for them. I'm just not uploading as much. I mean, if I do upload, it's probably going to be a random co-op, but mainly, and my pipe new time, <laughs> mainly, I'm just doing this because I'm enjoying myself. What I don't understand is two pieces. Awesome. I think this is the pocket watch. The cat and nigga cats don't ever purr. The cat and nigga cats don't go meow. Wouldn't try if they knew how. They're doing their thing, trouble lot, trouble lot. They're doing their thing, trouble lot, trouble lot. They're doing their thing, chabala, chabala. The cat and nougat cats are doing their thing. Yes, I do watch old cartoons. That's a shame, though. I think I mentioned this before, but if I haven't mentioned this, this is new to you now. But explain to me, why the hell did G.I. Joe somehow turn into the A-Team? When you're saying they did a crime that they didn't commit. This is starting to sound like the A-Team, and yes, I am talking about the new G.I. Joe that just came out last year. 
And I'm sorry, but really. Is it really that damn necessary? I mean, honestly now. And with that, I have unlocked. <laughs> I have unlocked the pocket watch. Because the pocket watch makes a whole lot of sense. Don't you agree? Because time is a precious commod commodity. This wager has already been referred to as fantastic and inconceivable. I wonder what they will say when I win. Time is a precious commodity. We must never waste it. So, by looking at the video, I already deemed it as okay in my book. So yes, this will be, this is indeed a let's play. This has been Pookie approved. Yes, Pookie approved. It just hasn't been approved. It has been Pookie Pookified approved. I look at this and I see a flask, even though it looks so wrong as a flask. Well, as you see, I've completed this task like so. Yes, every 100,000 points gives you an extra life. And we have the flask. I look at this and I think about the water boy. <laughs> My opinion is that there's nothing fantastic about this bet. All there is here is superb calculation and passion that characterize a true Englishman. So next, we are going for our last, our last part, which is, um, binoculars. Now this icon right here is, of course, an hourglass. And what does this hourglass do, you might wonder? I am awesome. Thank you. <laughs> but when you actually gain these, well, what usually happens is if I can manage to bring it down to my level, which I can't, because that move is embedded. As I was saying before about the G.I. Joe Renegades, really, The last time I remember G.I. Joe, they were a fighting force trying to take down Cobra, a ruthless organization determined to rule the world. And I'm sorry, what the hell have they done? And this is what the our glass does. It freezes time. So. We have every bit of awesomeness here. So you're probably wondering, how am I doing all this? 
How am I, how am I managing all this coolness? I manage all this coolness just because I can. I mean, it's it's all sorts of awesome because I'm doing this. And not to mention the fact that I really do like puzzle games. Yes, believe it or not, yes. A good puzzle game to me is like reading a good book. When you read a good book, it shows. So since this is based off a book, well, that's two types of win right there in my book. And yes, well, I could talk about G.I. Joe Renegades. I won't. Because we all know what G.I. Joe really is. It was the coolest show ever in the 1980s. How you mess up that fact is beyond me. Now, I'm not knocking it. Well, maybe I am. And yes, we got into our third level power-up, which is the boom. So, once again, we must set us up the bomb. For I am not Dr. Bomb. Finally play one on TV. And with that, the level's complete. And we have obtained the Binikiris. Because really, before there was cameras, or maybe before we haven't had a camera, this was all you need. Binoculars and a personal journal. Do I feel strongly about the success of this enterprise? By all means, a true Englishman will not start a new venture unless he is at least 50% sure of the favorable outcome. We depart for Paris today! And of course, the carpet bag is ready. So what we need to do is we need to play Jewel Quest! You'll see what I mean. In this next part, or in the last part of um, England. First tickets uh, have been purchased. The train leaves in an hour. You have forgotten nothing, Passpottle? Nothing, Monsieur. It is all in this copy bag. We can leave for Paris. There's one more thing left. There's nothing I could I could forget. And your personal notebook is in the copy bag. It concerns my wager. I gave the word of a gentleman that I bring that I will bring a unique stamp from every country. Thus, it would be possible to judge whether I've accomplished the journey agreed upon. But any stamp can be can be purchased in London. Is it worth going at all? The wager is a matter of honor. There's still some time left before the train leaves. We need to hurry and get an English stamp. So what we are going to do is we are going to play Jewel Quest. That's how we get our stamps. We play we play this game like Jewel Quest. 
And what we need to do is we need to turn every gold tile that we see into clear. And of course, beat it underneath the time allotted. Now of course I'll be going through this because I went through this game like at least twice. And well, in all sense of the word, It's just demonably aw it's just demonably awesome. So honestly, I could say this. Why do so many gamers insist upon getting a PlayStation 3. It's not that I have anything against getting a PlayStation 3, but really. As many times as I've seen videos about the infamous Yellow Light of Death, why would you want to get a PlayStation 3? I'd rather take my chance with a Xbox 360, even though I don't have one yet. I'm considering I might get one for myself. I mean, I already have a Wii. Plus, on top of that, I mean, come on. I'm admitting that Xbox have quite a good set of games on their console. Now, I'm not into online gaming and everything, because, really, co-op is good enough for me. I grew up during the, I, I grew up during the old school of gaming, so therefore, you know, co-op, co-op to me is the bee's knees. Now, if y'all don't like it, y'all can kiss my ass. But anyway, we're going to clear this stage, and with that, we're going to clear this area. And with that, we have our stamp. The level is complete. And we shall move on. So, this is our proof. 1872, the Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament, England. So we have one down, and possibly one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. One down, six more to go. So when we come back, folks, to this interesting side LP, we shall head to France, because we come from France. So we will have more around the world in 80 days. In a few.